One way of keeping our cultural identity alive is by speaking our mother tongue. The Bangladeshi community has an historic reason why the language is so important. Pushpa explains. Nestled deep in the heart of Asia lies Bangladesh, a little country with a big history. Thousands of miles away in Auckland, New Zealand's small Bangladeshi community prepare to celebrate an important day in their history. Tonight's event is about all about the mother language and uh, especially the Bangladeshi people. They have given their life in 1952 to fight for the language. The Pakistani rulers, they wanted to introduce the Urdu as uh, the language for 150 million people. And uh, of course, we didn't understand anything of uh, Urdu. And so our boys protested and they gave their life. And that, from there on, people started the struggle for freedom fighting. And finally, Bangladesh was uh, liberated in 1971. And then we had our own language everywhere. In commemoration of the struggle of the Bangladeshi people to retain their linguistic heritage, in 1999, UNESCO declared February 21st International Mother Language Day. Bengali nation is the only nation probably in the world or the first nation in the world that who has sacrificed their life uh, to protect the, or the honor to their uh, mother language. And this is a unique event and UNESCO has taken it uh, as uh, International Mother Language Day and we are very much proud of that. With poems, singing and a wreath laying ceremony, the evening was a celebration of the unique Bangla language. For the 2,000 strong Bangladeshi community in New Zealand, the event is a celebration of the history of their homeland in their new home. With performances from around the world, the event was multicultural in every sense of the word. Actually, we want to show that the language is important to every nation, to every ethnic group, uh, to every people. And we want to respect, uh, show our respect to each other and want to uh, have a congenial and cohesive society that we can live together. That is what is, the, I think, the main message. Another message is the diversity uh, of the culture and the diversity of the people. That is what is very much needed in this time of the world. The night was also a way for young Bangladeshi Kiwis to hold on to their culture. There, there is, you know, obviously differences, but I don't, I don't actually mind being like, you know, uh, in New Zealand, but being a Bengali because I can obviously mix in with people. I believe that culture is a big part of who you are, like, you know, in terms of identity. So. If, if I'm a Bengali and I'm proud to be one, I can, I, it, it'll, you know, make me stand out, out of the crowd. And yeah, I believe that's great. <laughs> so yeah. And the audience certainly had a good time. It's fine. It's like really socializing because you get to catch up with a lot of people and everything. So. Today, there is a Chilean community and Maori community and plus Iranian community. They're doing their performance in the stairs. So very good. I'm excited that uh, watching so many people from my community and from other communities as well that uh, they are recognizing uh, uh, the day that we had in 1952 and uh, respecting our language and not only to our language, respect to other languages as well. And it's a uh, quite uh, multicultural environment right now. As the event came to an end, it was a reminder of days gone by. Thank you.